A bear with worms sticking out of its rear end, a cheating lioness, the first real footage of the wolf a wolf, a bleeding tree, and many more. Whatever you do, be sure to watch till the very end. It may be the only opportunity you get to see the one-eyed goat and the mutant deer. We start today's video with something rather different, a trail cam video that tells the epic battle of a fierce and deadly battle between two predators under the watchful eye of the forest gods, while both the predators, today one, becomes prey. Which, you ask? Just watch and see. Rattlesnakes may strike fear into the hearts of all who hear their rattle, but not bobcats. These medium-sized cats may look cute and harmless, but make no mistake, they are all but skilled hunters. While they may refrain from attacking humans due to our sheer size, smaller mammals form a regular part of their diet. They won't, however, decline the occasional reptilian meal which this rattlesnake found out the hard way. It rattled its tail and struck with lightning speed. But all this would be futile. They produced absolutely no results and the bobcat looked healthier with each strike. The same cannot, however, be said for the snake, which suffered many hits from the bobcat until it could no longer take them. Once the snake looked like it could no longer continue, the bobcat went for the head and delivered the killing blow. Notice none of the movements of the bobcat was without meaning. It knew where to strike and where to go for the kill. As I said earlier, they may be small, but they're very skilled hunters. Can you see the lion in the footage? Well, if you can't, you're already dead. I'm sure you didn't see it coming, but that's how deadly mountain lions can be. They're masters of disguise and would always go for the kill once they're sure of it. If you stood where the trail cam was, would you have survived an attack from this mountain lion? In this video, we see a brown bear chasing some wild horses, but why is this peculiar? Well, for a number of reasons. Bears and horses will typically avoid each other. While wild horses may be very dangerous and capable of taking care of themselves, there are some predators that they just wouldn't take the chance with, and the brown bear is one of those. I mean, if you got injured in the wild, there was no doctor you could go to. Your wounds will most likely get infected, and then you'd just die off. Bears know this too, and would also typically stay clear of wild horses to avoid injury, unless they were desperate or provoked. Brown bears have been known to kill and eat wild horses, but it's rare, extremely rare. They would rather stick to fish, plants, small mammals such as rodents and squirrels, and believe it or not, insects as well. Large mammals such as deer or elk are part of their diet, but only in extreme conditions. That makes this footage all the more curious, especially when more than one horse is running away from the bear. But what if they're both running from something more dangerous? I mean, it's the wild, after all. You can never be too sure. What do you make of it? At first glance, this looks like a beautiful drone shot showing us the nice foliage near the house of whoever owns the drone. But in the next few seconds, we realize there's actually more. Look closely, specifically to the right hand of your screen. Did you see it? There's a giant moving through the woods. Although it's walking upright, it doesn't look like it's human, and neither does it seem like it's any ape species we know. I might be tempted to once again say the elusive, mythical, and legendary Bigfoot has been captured on camera, but that'll probably be one time too many. If you've watched our previous videos, you've heard me say Bigfoot sightings have increased and they continually seem to increase. Why is this happening? No one knows, but whatever the case, I think we need to be on guard. This is no conspiracy theory. The videos are there as proof. Back to this particular footage, it's a cause for concern. While we have seen many Bigfoot videos on this channel, this is the first time we've actually seen one this close to a settlement or house. I don't know, but I'm all of a sudden concerned for whomever the owner of the property and footage is. Do tell me, believer in Bigfoot or not, assuming you owned a property, would you stay there after seeing this so close to your home? Do tell in the comments section. If you thought the Bigfoot footage was weird, then I don't know what you'll make of this. Imagine driving on a highway and coming across a wolf walking on its hind legs. Think it's weird? Watch the footage. Did you see that? Was that not a wolf? Now we're used to seeing fairy tale creatures walk on their hind legs, such as the villainous wolf in Puss in Boots. Could this be paranormal? Could we be looking at the mythical vulva creature? Could this be the very first footage of this creature? If you're not familiar with the legend of the Wolverwolf, allow me to enlighten you. 
Legend speaks of a wolf that lives in solitary places such as caves and abandoned houses. He's said to have the head of a wolf and walk on two hind legs as a human does, which is exactly what we're seeing in this video. Despite its fearsome and worrying appearance, the wolver is what many would call a bringer of life. Unlike the wolf in Puss in Boots, he helps out the poor and sometimes leaves fish and other food items for them. If that's indeed the vulva, then he was surely on his way to bless a family. Some insist this is fake, but I don't see it. Perhaps it's because I'm truly hoping this is the first modern video of the vulva. What do you think? Many of us are familiar with cyclops, which are one-eyed men, but what about one-eyed animals? Well, they do exist, and quite a number of them have been documented in literature on the subject, but not many have seen it, at least not until this footage of this goat in India. Looks like something from a horror film, I know, but to scientists, the existence of this goat is nothing short of a miracle. Typically, those diagnosed with this condition, which is officially called cyclopia, do not survive for long. But this goat, this particular goat, succeeded in doing so for days, then weeks, and then months. Science says this occurs when the embryonic forebrain of the animal fails to divide into two separate hemispheres during fetal development. Sounds technical, I know. But what if, I mean, just what if this creature was no biological accident? What if it was a goat that belonged to one of the Greek gods? What if there's more to it than we're actually seeing? far-fetched? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Stepping away from the supernatural, we've something that is quite natural but rarely seen or known by many. Before I say any more, watch the video. Did you see the antlers of the buck fall off? If you haven't lived near deer or wildlife, you might probably be wondering if the buck is fine. But believe me when I tell you, all is well. We're familiar with snakes and frogs shedding their skin, among other wonderful creatures, although bucks, or male deers, may not have skins to shed. They do have antlers that they equally shed during the winter months. The antlers of some just fall off, while some decide to violently shake themselves until these antlers come off. Why does this happen, though? Antlers are made of bone and tissue, which grow while covered in layers of hair and tissue. Once they grow to their full size, their blood supply is cut, which makes them hard and rough. With time, the connection between the antlers and skull gets weaker, which leads to their eventual fall. As much as I'd love to tell you there was something paranormal happening here, there is not. This is absolutely normal. The cubs of many predators in the wild love to play, and these bears are no exception. Playing is actually very good as it helps them build bonds and learn hunting and fighting skills. For bear cubs, the situation is no different, and these cubs took advantage of their time alone to do this. I know they're cute, I know you want to pet them, and I know you want to give them a big teddy bear bear hug. But no matter how strong these urges are, resist them. Mama is always right around the corner, and you might just end up as lunch if you were ever to go near her cubs. Seriously, an aggressive, angry mama bear is the last thing you would want on your tail. Still on cute babies, take a look at the fawn in this trail cam video. It's quick, agile, and very playful. Absolutely cute. If I didn't already know I was looking at the fawn of a deer, I might have mistaken it for puppy behavior. But why is the fawn behaving like that? In fact, why do many babies and many animals behave like this? Turns out, it's not just to kill time, but helps them develop physical skills such as balance and agility as well as strength and endurance. If you've seen any wildlife videos, you'd know that these are very important in the wild. A fawn will, however, usually do so in a safe and trusted environment with a parent around. This is what makes trail cameras so important. Without them, footage like this may never have been captured. Still on mothers and their babies, take a look at Mama Raccoon and her kits. Just in case you didn't know, baby raccoons are called kits. And no, she's not trying to drown them, she's playing with them. If it were to be me and my mom, it would sound something like, Junior, come back here and take your bath. No, Mama, I'm clean. I took my bath last week. Believe it or not, that's just how it used to go with my mom and me. I bathe every day. Anyway, coming back to the raccoons, much like the baby bears we saw earlier, playing together helps them bond and learn. But then again, this has to happen in a safe and trusted environment like the deer. Thanks to trail cameras, we can record and enjoy intimate moments like these. I don't know about you, but I find this fascinating. 
Speaking of raccoons, this is a trail cam shot the owner of this trail cam never expected. I mean, who would have ever thought that one, two, three, four, four raccoons would never work together to steal from a corn feeder? I mean, I know they're often likened to thieves because of their odd appearance, as though they were wearing a mask and their shady activities at night, but this is something I never expected. Perhaps they really are the thieves of the wild after all. Stepping away from the life of crime, let us consider a different kind of life, one filled with romance and bliss, the joy of being intimate with the one. Oh, wait, uh, this might actually be a crime scene. Uh, yep, yeah, it's all clear now. Definitely a crime scene. What happens when your husband gets home to find you cheating? Well, this happens. That lion was lucky to get away. The dark main lion didn't look like he was playing at all. No wonder Cheating Boy didn't fight back and proceeded to run. Getting intimate with the wife of another is a crime in many places, unless, of course, you're rich. The situation is not so different in the Lion Kingdom, but if you were weaker than the husband of the lioness you're attempting to cheat on, it was a crime punishable by death. I guess that's the reason Pretty Boy ran away immediately after he got a taste of the power of her husband. Take this as your life lesson. Never cheat if you're married, and whatever you do, stay away from someone's wife or husband. It might just be the last thing you end up doing. Alligators are known for many things, but patience is certainly not one of them. Especially now that humans are encroaching on their territory. This alligator has had enough and did not hesitate to make it known. The young man went fishing, threw in his bait, and then got chased. He's lucky that there was only one alligator around at that moment. Imagine if there were more. Imagine if that particular alligator was actually closer. The story would have ended differently. Much, much differently. Alligators don't like being disturbed and would not take it kindly if you tried fishing on their waters. They would become defensive and attack. You, on the other hand, if you're not lucky, may end up with one less limb. Stay away from the gators. Does this make your skin crawl? Well, for this mole rat, that's the least of its worries. It's literally seconds away from meeting its creator. Imagine going out on a stroll and coming across something like this. Well, unfortunate, this is something that happens more often than we would like to admit. It's probably already game over for that mole rat. Steve the snake would never pass on an opportunity to have a sumptuous meal like this. While you may love chicken wraps, Steve is not particularly picky and wouldn't mind having this small rat. The good thing about this, though, is he won't be having another meal anytime soon. Snakes such as Steve only eat what they have to and wouldn't need to eat again until this small rat, whom we're gonna call Fred, is totally digested. Good thing Steve and his family don't go out for dinners often. I mean, can you imagine the sight of six or more of these snakes on a killing spree and eating a number of these small rats at the same time? Well, I don't want to imagine such a scene. Humans might end up next on their menu. Can you guess the species of the snake, though? The correct answer will win you a shout-out in our next video. Is that water flowing out of a tree? Yes. Is it cursed? Definitely not. Then why is it bleeding? Allow me to explain. While this may look odd and very disturbing, trust me when I say it's perfectly normal. Not healthy, but normal. This tree isn't cursed and neither is it alive and bleeding from being cut. Instead, this tree is very sick. Very sick. It's suffering from something we call the wet wood disease. This is caused by bacteria, which causes the affected area to become wet, slimy, and discolored. The unusually high water content will make the tree soft and spongy and in some situations give it a musty and sour smell. If your tree ever becomes like this, it may be best to just cut it down, but it's in no way cursed. Speaking of diseases, this next one is pretty disturbing. For those of us who have seen zombie movies and clips, I'm sure this looks like a scene from one of those movies, like one of those scenes right before the animals become monsters. As much as I'd love to say yes, it's a definite no, it's not as serious as it looks. What then are we looking at? Well, that's an unfortunate case of tapeworm infestation. Although we don't know how exactly the bear may have gotten infected, we do have a hunch. That's an Alaskan bear, and the Alaskan River is filled with the eggs of these creatures. They get eaten by salmon, and the bears eat the salmon. I mean, it's a whole circle of life thing, and although it does look freaky, very freaky if you ask me, unless there is some heavy infestation, Paddington the bear would be just fine. 
Let this serve as motivation to take your dewormus. I'm not sure you can imagine something like this happening to you. Still on freaky things, there's this trail cam footage of what looks like a deer with mutated antlers. Imagine reviewing footage from your trail cam video and coming across what looks like a deer but is seemingly not. The owner of the trail cam believes it's a deer with abnormal antler growth, which might explain its odd appearance and inability to move properly. But what if it's not? What if there's more? What if it's actually alien? Before you throw this out the window, take a look at the footage. Do you see those two dots that look like light? It's the wild. What at all could be there? Unless it's a spaceship belonging to that deer-like creature, what if it's unable to walk properly because it's now getting used to our planet's atmosphere and gravity? I know I sound like I'm losing it, but think about it. Have you ever been scared out of your own room by a cockroach? Well, you are not alone. I'm not ashamed to say I've been too, but this footage does make me feel better about myself. I've always thought of cockroaches as these vile, unshakable creatures that could withstand anything and had no concept of fear. That was at least until I saw this video. All of a sudden, I realized cockroaches are not as resilient or bold as I thought they were. Not only was a cockroach running from the wasp, but it also made an easy meal out of it. Perhaps I need to redirect all of my entomophobia toward wasps. And here again, we have another sighting of a large human-like creature, this time on a mountain. No one can say for sure where it was headed or from whence it came, but one thing is certain, it's way too big and hairy to be human. But what creature could it be? No other animal aside from humans moves like that, unless someone thought it was a good idea to climb a mountain wearing such a costume, there's no way that it could be human. I don't want to say it, but this is definitely another Bigfoot sighting. Call me paranoid, but Bigfoot is certainly planning something and we need to be prepared. Ignore this warning at your own peril. But when whatever that Bigfoot and his friends are planning starts happening, don't say I didn't warn ya. See you in our next video.